my question is, how do you support someone you love mm -hmm. um, while not getting caught up in the swirl and energy of their situation, which may affect you as well, but you want to stay grounded? You have to look at it as this is what they, they're choosing to go through now. Right. And this is, this is their story and this is, this is their experience. And it doesn't have to be your experience as well. Right. And the, the big thing in this is when you're supporting them, you have to decide, is that support making a difference or is it holding them in place? And that's the big thing there. Because if all you're doing is holding them in place, then your support isn't really helping the situation. Say more about that, kind of enabling them? Yes, it is enabling them, right? So oftentimes we, we create the situation where that person's like, I need you, I need you, and you're like, okay, I'm going to be here. But then as long as you're there and supporting them, uh, then they get to say, okay, this is exactly where I want to be. I'm constantly getting the support, so I don't have to change. I don't have to do anything. I'll just continue getting the support and stay exactly where I am. Now, if how you're supporting them is causing them to change, if things are starting to get better and better and they're moving out of that place, then you can continue doing that because you'll see that change happening. But you have to see, is what you're doing actually helping? Or are you, because if it's not, you're not only just sort of enabling them and keeping them stuck there, but you've trapped yourself in that situation with them because you've got to constantly be there to keep enabling them. All right. So energetically, mm -hmm. like I talked about one specific situation and this person um, has a very big energy field and it's kind of like a vortex. It's just like, uh, like um what I'm looking for, like a, a tornado. So yeah. how do I, in a very kind and loving way, make sure I don't get literally sucked into the board? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting because why would why do you want to get sucked up into that vortex? Why? Yeah. I guess to me, love yeah. is about help okay. and help people when they need help. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that love means letting yourself get sucked into the person you love, the, the problems of the person you love? Yes. <coughs> Are you willing to destroy the belief that love means helping that person however you can, even if it means hurting you? Yes. Ooh. Wow. Major resistance on that one. So this is, this is an important thing because, yes, you want to help the people you love. But if you take it to the extent that now it's hurting you, and especially if it's just at a place where it's enabling them and now hurting you, you're dragging yourself down further and further while they're just staying exactly where they are. So in the end, no one comes out of this happy. All right, so what is, what is the belief there about self-care? Okay. Yeah, so, oof. Are you willing to destroy the belief that if you really love someone, you will put them before yourself? It's a hard one. No. Um, okay, remember we go back to that being in the airplane with the little kid next to you and the oxygen mask dropped down. You put yeah. the mask on yourself first and then them. Doesn't say you don't love them if you put the mask on, on yourself first because you got to be there to support them. Yes, I feel so selfish and like I'm running out on them. Um, and but, yeah. I'm but I'm not good. saying don't support them. I'm saying take care of you first so that you in the, you're in the best position to take care of him. 
you're constantly putting yourself be, uh, behind him, you're just going to get worse and worse and worse. I kind of go at it kind of like a triage kind of mentality. Okay, you know, what? who's bleeding the most here? That's where you, that's where you go first, right? That's the way I view it, right? So for me to say, okay, that's not necessarily the right move here is kind of counterintuitive to my, I guess, support nature. Yeah, it's, it's different from how you were raised to believe things are supposed to be. And, we, and this is the thing, we get raised and it feels, I mean, it feels like this unselfish thing that's a wonderful way to be. You gotta put everyone first, family first, gotta take care of everyone. But if <laughs> that's at the sacrifice of you, eventually you're not gonna be able to help anyone. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you always have to put everyone else before you? Yes. <laughs> I kind of go to the place of, okay, how can we do this together so that I make sure I take care of myself and, you know, in that process, if I can help as well, how can we do that? Is that uh, a better vehicle? That, but more importantly, you want to you wanna really look at that person and ask, does this person want to get out of the situation or does, does he or she just want to stay in there? and get the attention and the love and the support without having to actually change anything. There's a lot of people out there like that. So when you really start to see this person for who they are instead of how you'd like them to be, the situation can change in a big way. And you can say, listen, this, I just suddenly realized you love this. You love this dependent situation you put yourself in. You don't want to move. Um, you, you may have a fear that's what it's going to be like if you don't have, have the support and you're on, on your own or it could be something else. But I can't be a part of you just wanting to stay exactly where you are. Right? And some, sometimes that's a hard decision depending on who you're working with. But it's a decision you have to make because otherwise you've trapped yourself. And how do you have clear vision to see who they really are? Stop thinking about what it would be like if they, you know, when they change and like it's, it's, we're in this, we're, we get into this place where we're like, oh, if they can just get over this hump and if they can just make this little adjustment, everything will be great. But then it's like years go by and they still haven't done that. And you're like, oh, please, if they can just get there, if it's going on and on and on, you have to realize, no, this is who they are. This is this. I'm, I'm just keep thinking about who I want them to be, not who they actually are. I'll go back to the past of what it was as opposed to what yeah, it is. Exactly. That's another thing. It was really great at the beginning. I, hopefully it'll get back to what it was, but no, you got to look at what it is. So are you willing to see your, oof, are you willing to see your partner for who they are rather than who you want them to be? Yes. <laughs> Okay, how's that feel? Um, good, and I still kind of feel like my energy is being vampired a little bit. Okay. Um, so is there like an energetic thing I can do to, I don't know, I can make, put a bubble around myself or whatever so that I don't feel like I'm getting energy vampired or it feels like a drain. It feels like something plugged into me and they're draining. So it is that set up that intention and it's just a hard no, like this is not happening anymore. Sorry, say it again. It's putting that intention no, right? So some people can do it and they put a bubble around themselves and, and that can help. Um, when, when I work with it, if people are, are pulling energy, I just see myself as immaterial to them. So the energy just, there's nothing for it to pull from. So they end up pulling nothing. Um, but other, other times you just have to set that intention. No, you are not draining from me. 
And that, that intention, that hard intention of a no stops it. Right. So, cause some, there's, there's sometimes we can get into this place where you're almost in like a little fight with them and they're trying to pull and you're like, it's, you know, I can't let you pull that much energy or, or stop. And, and there's this back and forth and that back and forth play still makes them engage with you because something's going on. But if there's just a hard no, and there's no energy to work with and it's just the block, then they, they tend to, to give up and move on to someone else that they can drain from. But it also comes to the, it also comes from the fact that if you still feel I'm I'm in this, so I have to be supporting, I have to give energy to them, then even if you're saying no consciously, you're going to let it seep out. So you really have to be in this place of they're in their story. I'm going to let them be in their story until they decide to change it. I'm going to be here and support them if they want to change it, but I'm not going to get sucked into that story. Yeah, because that while well, you were were talking, I kind of felt like, oh, here's the light, left, you know, kind of growing. It's like, okay, there goes my energy. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, right? So yeah. for me, internally, it is very much a push pull, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there is the growth for me in this, right? Yeah. So sure. yeah, so all be there if they're ready to change, but if they're not. Don't get sucked into it. And how do you do that in a loving and compassionate way? Well, I mean, it's it's, a, it's an interesting question because I don't know how to do it in a bad way. Um, <laughs> so, it's it it's just sometimes you just have to explain it to you. It's like, listen, I. I I see you're going through some things, but I also see you, you're not ready. I did not say, hey, Siri, stop the quiet. Um, but I also uh, see that you're, you're not ready to change. And when you are ready to change, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to support you. But until you actually make that decision, I can't keep enabling you. It's not helping either of us. And see how, see how they take it. And some, some people will get it. Some people will go into such resistance because they're, no, you're now taking away that thing I need that I've decided that things could get worse for a while until they realize now they've actually got to change. I've been through that with, with a few people and it got really bad before they had actually caused that change and then they, they came out of it. But it's our fear of having to go through that really bad thing that we, keeps us in that place where everyone's just stuck. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, this is Shiraz. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.